Okay, uh, first uh, let's install the GitLab runner. Actually, uh, code was uh, is somewhere in this page. I just can't find it. Let's uh, search for it. Okay. Uh, actually, I have already uh, ran those uh, commands. Uh, so just run that one and this one. Uh, if you are in Ubuntu, so you will. Uh, these instructions are very clear, and uh, you will understand them very easily. I'm just pointing out what to do and uh, how to. I'm just giving you an insight how to um, configure a, a continuous integration using GitLab. Now, uh, next thing what we need to do is uh, register runner. So, so we can uh, assign it to our project, and it will do the uh, continuous integration part. Uh, by looking at the uh, configuration file that we about to write uh, soon all you need to do is uh, just copy and paste these things and by the way this is a shared runner and uh, if you need a runner uh, specifically for your project only then you can find those uh, these URL and these tokens in your uh, project settings. But uh, if you create a shared runner, you can uh, later it assign to your projects. So what I am trying to uh, do is um, now in the uh, in the previous uh, you saw the uh, the default page actually I, I have removed the default page that's why it uh, shows a, a 403. So what I am going to do is I am just going to create a index uh, HTML file and I am going to push it to the uh, GitLab. So by looking at the configuration file uh, that we about to write. It will going to just uh, copy the index.html file to the uh, nginx uh, default page, default website's root directory. And in the previous, uh, if you uh, remember, uh, uh, just uh, uh, go back in the video and uh, the, to the where I'm uh, registering the runner. So in that. Uh, one of the commands I uh, I use uh, the uh, uh, I choose the answer answers shell. So that's because uh, I'm just going to uh, run some shell commands uh, in the uh, configuration file. Actually, uh, the documentation is uh, very rich, so you can just. Uh, Look at those things and I and I understand it very easily what to do. Okay, now uh, let's clone the repository. Okay, 
I just forgot to run the PPK file. Uh, and then now it should work. Uh, actually, it need to be need to work. Okay, uh, so let's clone the repository and uh, now it's cloned. Uh, now uh, let's create just a simple uh, web page. So yeah, we need to uh, create a configuration file. Actually, uh, this configuration file uh, will continue uh, the instructions uh, that need to be executed by the runner. So we need to create that one, and uh, since we create a shared runner, we need to assign that runner to the uh, uh, project as well. So let's uh, do these things. Since I have chose uh, shell, uh, I'm just gonna look at the shell. Uh, configurations that they have provided Okay, um, okay, let's create the script and uh, let's uh, just uh, assign the uh, our honor to our project. So we don't need to worry about that. Now it's done. Now let's get back to writing the script. I mean the configuration. So in the script uh, section, you need to write the uh, shell commands that uh, what need to be executed. So I'm just gonna copy the index.html that we have created to the uh, nginx uh, default uh, default uh, virtual directories uh, homepage. Sorry, virtual directory. Now, uh, actually, uh, since the 
uh, runner is running as a different user when I need to uh, give some permissions we change the uh, permissions on this uh, directory you can find the uh, user in, in the home directory Uh, stage all these things and uh, push this and this will automatically uh, trigger the uh, runner to uh, run the uh, continuous integration uh, pipeline and uh, let's see what happened here oh permission denied I think I need to Change uh, it to the seven seven five. Uh, so change it to the seven seven five. Since it, since the uh, GitLab runner have the right permissions, uh, now it should uh, do the, it should work. Okay, you can see that uh, it says the job succeeded, and uh, let's refresh this. You can see that it changed. So. Like this, uh, you can write any shell commands that will uh, build your project and deploy it uh, wherever you want. Now, let's change this a little bit and, uh, and commit this one. Now, if, if it is working correctly, uh, immediately we can see the uh, the page is changed. So let's refresh this. You can see that it's uh, the script is run correctly. So actually, this is not, uh, not a very uh, big in-depth guide about uh, GitLab continuous integration commands, and uh, I'm just uh, pointing you out uh, how to start the uh, right in the commands so i hope uh, this will uh, help your projects and uh, i'm sorry for my english actually i'm i'm, <laughs> I'm just uh, weak in the english uh, so uh, and have a nice day thank you